You hear that? It's the taste of fall at McCormick and Schmick's Seafood Restaurant. Joining us now to cook up ginger pear glazed salmon is executive chef Gary Moy. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, let's talk about what you're making here. You've got wild salmon here. That's a wild coal salmon out of uh, Washington. Uh, there should be only three more weeks left in the season, so it's a uh, Opportune time to uh, get some of that wild salmon. Yeah, whether you're making it at home or going to McCormick and Schmicks. Most definitely. Okay, so let's start. Uh, how do we uh, get this thing started here? We've got the salmon sizzling already. Here we got the salmon grilling already. You want to make a pear ginger reduction. It's just uh, basically brown sugar, ginger, and pear nectar. And you let it reduce down so it's a nice thick consistency, almost the consistency of honey. So as we go with that, we're going to keep on basting our salmon okay. as we're going along. So you want to get that on there. And we're keeping this on the grill for. It's about two to three minutes on each side. Okay. Okay. Good. You want to get some nice glaze on so it caramelizes yeah. onto the salmon. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I love that sound. Yeah, that fantastic sound and the sound. smells too. Oh yeah. You smell that ginger cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we've got uh, some uh, root vegetables here. Yep, root vegetables is going to be the accompaniment for got this it. uh, dish. Okay. It's uh, this is turnips. Uh, there's parsnips and baby carrots in there, and we roasted it with some honey, chipotle, and some garlic in there. Okay. And when you're doing the vegetables, you basically just take some with some butter. You want to put it into the pan. Get that cook, and you also roast some beets ahead of time. Beets okay. you probably have to do a little bit ahead of time. They take about two to three hours, depending on the size of the beets. Okay. But you want to get those nice and tender, so. You can do this a day ahead of time, and while you're cooking it, gotcha. it won't take you as long as you're finishing your dish. So Pretty you healthy turn on meal high. then, too, here. I would like to think so. It's very healthy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, and as we're finishing this up, uh, we don't want to forget uh, some of the food here on the side here. This is all uh, part of your Savor the Fall menu. Yes, it is. That's our Jake's Bouillon Base. It's our, our first restaurant in Portland, Oregon. It's uh, created out there. It's uh, shellfish and a rich tomato stew. Um, right here is a red miso curry scallop that over beautiful. puree of cauliflower and some roasted cauliflower. Flavors go really great together. And for the sweet tooth, we can't also have... Can't forget that. Yeah, can't forget that part. We have our uh, upside down apple pie. It's uh, brown sugar and walnut crust. And here we have a caramel pecan pumpkin cheesecake. Fantastic, fantastic. What is it about the fall that you enjoy? I enjoy the flavors of fall, like the earthiness and the abundance of harvest after yeah. that. So I think the gathering of it is the best part of it. Yeah, but, it's, uh, sort of, it's harvest time. Yeah, it's harvest time. Well, we're gonna eat shall we uh, continue harvesting here? Yep, we're going to finish up a little bit here. We're just going to let these vegetables cook a little bit. And as they're getting hot, you want to add some kale into it. Yeah, can't forget the kale. Can't kale is very the kale. popular these days. Yep, it goes, uh, has some great flavors in there, some great texture added into it. So I just want to let that cook down just a tad bit. and. In a couple minutes, we're going to add some of our pear ginger glaze that we prepared a little bit earlier and let that caramelize right onto the vegetables and, gotcha. and it makes okay. a great so flavors on there. Uh, not only the salmon, uh, but the uh, vegetables. Yeah, well. the vegetables a little bit. It just adds a little more of that flavor to it, the pear and ginger flavor to it. Okay. And as we finish up here, uh, tell us where you are. Uh, we're at the Somerset Collection behind Saxmith Avenue, uh, freestanding building. Uh, we're open Monday through Sunday. So anytime you feel like coming down, you can... Uh, just hop right on in there. There you go. Now, this is a meal that's uh, fairly uh, easy to create at home, but obviously uh, we have some professionals here who could really uh, <laughs> make the flavors bounce and kick there. So, uh, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, well, shall we uh, put the uh, salmon? Uh, yep, we're going to put the glaze right on there. Put the glaze here. Can I give it a shot here? You can give it a shot. All right. Chef Moy, thank you very much. I'm going to savor the seasons of the fall. Thank you. Mmm. Yes, and I will savor more as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And you me. could savor all of this. Just check out our uh, WXYZ website, the Scene on 7 section.